another video for y'all. I know it's been a while. I've been MIA kind of. You know what I mean? It's just that, you know, I I haven't had any ideas. I've had some ideas for Haunt Talk. You know what I mean? Like that's all cool, but for like solo videos, haven't had any ideas. But until something hit me, you know, something hit me and I was like, you know what? I need to talk about this. I need to talk about this. And the thing that did hit me was I saw an ad for a haunted house in the Lone Star State of Texas in the city of Austin. Stay weird, Austin. There's a house of torment. They're doing a Valentine's theme haunt. Be sure to check them out on their Instagram. Their link is in the description. And when I saw everything that they're doing, shout out to them. I'm not sponsored. But hey, oh, I would love to be. <laughs> I don't know if I have any like viewers out there in Texas, but hey, um, if you if you are watching this, then you know, thank you for watching. And uh, if you haven't heard about this, check it out, guys. It's definitely so just from looking at the Instagram page, I can already tell it's something you must go see. If I was able to go down to Texas and fly on back up over here, and in time for work, I would definitely do it. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, unfortunately. I ain't Bill Gates, so can't do that. Sorry, guys. Maybe next year. Um, so, yeah. Um, the This is all a Valentine's Day theme haunt. And what I like about it, they're doing it groups of two from what it looks like in the video. So you and your significant other go in together, and you got to fight off some vampires, which is like, oh, that's like the best thing, vampires on Valentine's Day, because there's always like this like sexual little fantasy going on with vampires. I kind of get it. I kind of don't. I don't know. If some girl comes at me with some fangs. I'm probably going to be like in defense mode more than like, hey, oh, what up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if my lady tries to come out of nowhere with some fangs and like start hissing at me, I'm going to be like, hey, oh, you need to go see a doctor, <laughs> you know, or a dentist, something like that. Anyways, but yeah, so be sure to check them out on Instagram. It's something really worth checking out at least, you know, checking out their uh, little trailer that they put out as well, too. Um, you know, hopefully someone does like a walkthrough video about it, POV shot of what's going on and everything like that. Who knows? What if it's like top secret stuff that kind of spooky? You know what I mean? I was always thinking of like, what if there's like an immersive, uh, like a uh, extreme haunt type of uh, couples theme? You know what I mean? Like something like Blackout and you and your significant other have to go through like these crazy things and like I was always thinking about like the ending part where it's all like alright they pick like the, the cast pick one of y'all to have to choose whether or not to kill yourself or like your significant other because of some scenario that the story that I like it just has a whole bunch of plot holes and everything like that like it doesn't make any sense but I always think about like the beginning of it and then the end I try to worry about the middle part later I don't know if that's a good technique or not, but it's been doing okay so far. <laughs> um, you know, I was thinking about something like that. Like, you know, that would be pretty cool. I know McKinney's Manor, uh, even though as crazy as he is, he did do this one cool thing with a married couple, I believe, in one of his videos, or like these two friends. I don't know what they were, but he would ask one of them, like, oh, who's going who's to take, like, you know, this, like, uh, they were doing, like, you know how they, like, they, like, force food on you and stuff like that? He's like, who's going to take this bucket of whatever the fuck? And it's just like, oh, she is. And this this like, you know, oh, damn. Like, they would do this, like, make her do it. She'd throw up. It's like, all right, now who's going to eat the throw up? And it's like, oh, she is. And make her do it again. And then it's like when it came time to, like, do something physical. Like, all right, who's going to get, like, you know, basically, um, you know, like, be put into the pool or something like that. I forgot what it was. And the girl that was getting, like, all this other stuff done to her was like, nah, nah, it's her turn now. And fucking got revenge kind of a way. I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. That would, if it wasn't in McKenney's Manor's, like, you know, range, it would be a good idea. Because I've talked to the guy a few times and everything like that. He's pretty cool. But I'm just telling you, man, I think, his, like, some of his ideas are pretty cool. If only he had a safe word. I think that's what really does it. But that's not what we're getting into today, you know what I mean? This is a whole other thing. But it's like there's there's opportunities out there to do Valentine's Day stuff during the off season. And it doesn't even have to be a holiday theme, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like a St. Paddy's Day, evil leprechauns are running through the streets and stuff like that. No, you can just do like something random on like a, I don't know, like on July such and such day, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like on a specific thing. Think about how cool it would be to be walking down like a like a strip mall or like you know somewhere and someone hands you a flyer 
dressed up and saying like, oh, check out this haunted house that we have going on over here. You just be like, but it's July such and such. And the guy just be like, yeah, I know, right? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me. That's just me, like, you know, if I hear that there's a haunt going on somewhere near me and I don't have the time, the money, and the gas to get there, I'm gonna fucking do it, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know how many people out there are like that, you know, but, uh, cause I think that's what's stopping a lot of people um, doing this, is that the fact that what if there's not a good turnout and everything like that? And um, it's, it's understandable, you know what I mean? Because you're putting a lot of money into this, it's all a gamble, anything you're doing in life, it's good, it's a gamble. Walking out the door is a gamble, you know what I mean? That's like a cliche thing to say, but it's true. So especially if you're putting in like, you know, thousands of dollars in rent and, and like, you know, inspection fees and everything like that and all this like insurance and stuff like that for your hunt because you can get sued just for scaring someone too bad apparently, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of some bullshit in my opinion. But, um, you know, it's like, I understand you don't want to invest that much money and come up like you know shorthanded you know it's all understandable but I think with a little bit of faith and if you're marketing to the right people you do like some sort of like all right you know if you buy six tickets you get like you know this much percent off or something like that you know what I mean do you like group package deals you could probably get more people to come on by and, and like you know you start developing more of an income not an income you get more of a profit out of it and stuff like that or if you just do like simple merchandise any merchandise like you didn't sell during the haunt season you can just give away during the off season and everything like that where it's all like hey if you bring this many people and they all reference you or something like that boom you get a free t-shirt or all y'all get like free t-shirts or something like that or you get like five dollars off a shirt boom you're only paying about like 15 bucks for a shirt that's still 15 bucks coming back into your pocket and everything like that you know so there's like there's like certain things you can do i don't know if they've already thought about this and they found ways that it, it just won't work at all i'm just speaking my mind because when i saw this i was like boom this is something we need to talk about you know what i mean it's like i would love to see more like haunts actual haunted houses during the off season because you know just like you like just like all of us here that are watching it's like we get them halloween craves and it's just all like oh it's only march you know what i mean it's like i want to see some spooky shit now you know what i mean and it's like you know you probably just binge watch a whole bunch of not scary farm haunted house walkthroughs and stuff like that late at night and then like you know your roommates come by and like what are you watching it's just like they just hear people screaming or if you live with your folks like your parents come in it's like why do we hear nothing but screaming and it's like you have to explain to them because you have an addiction to haunted houses <laughs> that went a little bit off rails i'm sorry but that's exactly that's what i'm talking about though it's like you know if we had some haunts during the off season then they ah during the off season you know it'd be pretty cool that's all i'm saying it'd be pretty cool I don't know if it can be done or not. If anyone out there that is watching, if you think it could be done, let me get a hell yeah down there in the comment section. If you think it can't be done, explain why you think that. You know, let's, like, don't just be like, oh, no, that's stupid. No, explain why you think it's stupid. Why do you think it won't work? You know what I mean? Let's let your opinions be heard and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, well. But yeah, it's just something pretty cool. You know, and also like all there is like during the off season that's somewhat relatable to spooky stuff. And I know all you guys are gonna be talking about it. It's like immersive theater and escape rooms. I was like, that's true. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are pretty creepy. Murder Co. is looks fucking intense. I have yet to done it yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to one day. You guys, Murder Co. If you're watching this, I'm going up in there and we gonna get fucking scary. All right, we gonna get crazy up in there. Okay, so be on the lookout. I'm gonna be with my homie, Mr. Death Breath. So make sure you look 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 out for him too. You know what I mean? Um, we're gonna get scared. We're gonna hold each other. All right. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then it's like you know with the immersive theaters. You know I know um, I've been hearing little whispers about certain ones, ones that scared the shit out of me during the haunt season. I won't go into their names, but if you can remember, then awesome. You know that they might be doing something. Um, what else? You know, and like, you know, Zombie Joe is always putting out great shows and stuff like that, you know. And then the Willows, of course. Willows, I've always wanted to go see them, but I just don't have like 200 bucks. You know what I mean? I don't have that kind of money to spend, you know. So it's like, I don't know. It's 
that's one thing though like a lot of immersive shows they're pretty expensive and i get it you gotta pay you, pay, you gotta pay your cast you gotta pay the rent you gotta do all this other stuff and all that and everything like that you know but it's like yo it's like kind of like cut us some slack or some shit like that you know what i mean it's like we're all making minimum wage around here dog <laughs> but yeah i don't know and then escape rooms it's like i don't want to be locked up in a room and forced to do math that's just not my cup of tea for a good time you know unless it's like murder code because murder code it's like i know with them i believe i've heard johnny cook or one of the guys who worked there talk about this it's all like it's with them and then with the the saw escape rooms that are in vegas it's like even if you fail a room they still want you to go through the rest of them because it's like they put so much work into it and they're telling a the story they want you to experience everything you know what i mean so that seems like fun but i've heard of ones that were just all like all right you failed that sucks you know i don't know how everything else is and everything like that i've yet to see like the bunker experience or or the horror hotel in LA or whatever it's called. Um, you know, I've yet to experience all that other stuff, but um, I will soon. You know, I'm probably gonna hit up one of my homegirls, uh, Christine the Hunk Girl. If you're watching this too, that if you'd love to join me, I would be happy to do a video with you. I would, I would be, I would feel honored as hell to do a video with you in an escape room. Cause I know you smart as hell, so I'm just gonna be copying off of you. Like, you know, like we like in class, taking a test. I'm just gonna copy off your answers, okay? <laughs> Hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, but like for real, like, um, you know, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit those places up, see what it's like. You know, this is just talking about what I know from right now. You know, I'm not saying that this is facts. I'm just saying what I know right now. I don't claim to know everything. This is just what I think right now, okay? So, with that being said, I think that there should be some haunts during the off-season. What do you guys think? Let me know what you would like to see. Let me know if you have a specific group that does haunts. Who would you like who would you like to see them do during the off-season? You know what I mean? Like, who would you like to see? Would you like to see something from, like, you know, um, like, Not Scary Farm do, like, a day where they have, like, you know, trick-or-treat open for, like, you know, a few hours or something like that? Or Universal do something, like, if they have the tour, the, the, the terror tram, whatever, you know what I mean? you know open for like a night or like someone smaller like you know let's say if they have like uh 17 door you know they're they're open for like you know a weekend or something like that you know i remember they did that for christmas that one was pretty intense i can not think of eggnog without thinking about them thank you guys <laughs> i'm a little disgusted still i when i think about it i still sometimes gag it's all cool though sorry about that my light just went out so i'm using my my actual ceiling fan light this time. And um, you tell me what you think, which one's better? I don't know. I thought this one was pretty better because it's like LED and it's like pretty bright and everything like that. But you know, this will do for right now. But as I was saying, let's and that's pretty much it for this video. This is it, you guys. It's, it's been a while. I'm glad to be back. You know, I'm not gonna promise like, oh, I'm gonna be posting up every other day or like all this other stuff. No, I'm gonna do what I can, you guys, you know, cause I have, I have to work, I have to pay bills. I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. I just recently started school, so you know, there's, there's going to be like a lot of that stuff, too. I'm trying my best. One thing that's for sure, though, Haunt Talks episode 14 is going to be fucking amazing. That's all I'm going to say right there. I'm going to just drop that in there. Get ready for it. It's going to be it's with an amazing guest. We're doing something totally different. It's not going to be like your normal sit on the couch and talk and shit like that. It's going to be something a little bit more better because this guest is very special, and I want to make sure that we do this the right way. So... Be on the lookout for that. If in the meantime, after watching this video, if you still want some, if you still got that Halloween craves and everything like that, be sure to check out all my other videos. Check out all my other haunt talks. I'll leave a link in the description to some like my, some like you know some of the ones I recently did, uh, some of my favorite ones, and then some other videos too that you know most viewed and everything like that. So be sure to check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know on the off chance when I do start posting. Okay. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.